Might still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. Dead. Good. into your mind nerves sinews as much living being as ship to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the Mind Flayers who abducted you. Remove us from this body! From this case! Free us! Please. Text, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. seems unaware of your interference. It relaxes in your hands. We are free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. But the helm, we are needed. The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm.
heart throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squall. You are no thrall. Blacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. We carry Mind Flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be Geich, Mind Flayers. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Need to find a way forward. Make way! Proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the helm. dead, but he's totally unresponsive. You! Get me out of this taxi! We have no time for stragglers. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? appears dormant. 
The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. appear in your mind a brain a good yankee warrior and centuries of darkness woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Another brain. Hmm. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. appears dormant. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? Suddenly, you feel a hideous <sighs> squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command. Shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her 
gratitude is mixed with wariness, because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Shadowheart. One moment. It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. Worth examining. Leave him to me. 
As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through, but it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. No, I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. those wretched things. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. Have to keep going. 
going? Survival isn't such a distant prospect. Right tool will do the trick. My faith will guide me. Deep grooves in the mud around that rock. A 
At least things have stayed interesting. What am I to do? well that ends not as bad as it could have hurry I've got one of those brain things cornered there in the grass you can kill it can't you like you killed the others I was hoping for a kind soul well not to worry I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? I'm not an idiot. I saw... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> a kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first... You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Over 
approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric's skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, Thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have a feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. is dangerous. Be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? The poor creature is on the brink of death, but there's still time. You'd give your life to save it, to nurse it back to health. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. You try 
to break through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Time to rest.
Let's get on with it. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Nine hells! Open the gates! Roach. Provoke the blade and suffer its sting. Slow down. Sickle and sword, strike them down!
don't get too close. Best be on my way. the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! Good. You are tenacious. I wonder what we want to be, other than bloodshed. I just wonder if the grubby little beasts had any friends, and if they're nearby. here you fool we was running for our lives you led them straight to us and you let them take the druid too unbelievable she's right we should scrum while we can right lead the goblins here then leave the rest of us to fight them off you coward what's it gonna take to shut you up horns the human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Should have done that a long time ago. Arrogant prick had it out for me from day one. No one leaves my people out cold. Too little, too late. He was right, though. 
Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins than stay in this pit. Goblins with the same vigor he had for that teeth for once. Let's try to avoid any more punching. We need to find a healer. Regression. A cheap shot. I should have expected that. True to form, and good riddance. This grove has troubles enough. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business. But she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Really? We're messengers now? We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about... Refugees, adventurers, no one in years and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need.
Sylvanus, guide your path. We don't even know these people! That doesn't matter! Of course it does! You would choose strangers over us! That's not what I said! Can we stop shouting? No? Yes. to live in more interesting times. Pels! We can't just leave! They're kin! I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead! We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once! Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay! These people aren't fighters! We can help! Or yell louder. That's fine too. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. Can't keep Ooh, the goblins out forever. He's a little too this interested no in me. And we're no warriors. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Uh, I never learned names or anything. Just the tricks. Anyway, forget that. Take the ring. I want to show you how lucky it is. Bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing... Call it. Heads or tails. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheat, too. Interested? I, uh, I don't know what you mean. Hey, that hurts. I'm running an honest... Uh, okay, what's a tinker's trash? Uh-huh. Huh. Interesting. And I promise, this isn't a Tinker's Trash scam. Look, I swear to you, these rings are the real deal. I promise, I'm not running a scam. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? <laughs> no fooling you, is there? All right, get walking. Leave some room for the chumps, huh? Please, last room. 
Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Ugh! Let me through, Ragrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Magrin, give her a chance. You, step back. Go join the other tieflings. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Yes. Yes, I see. Ah, oh, I do wish I could understand you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you lost your... Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out the rest. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath. Lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. You intrude on the circle. You intrude on my mind. More proof that outsiders must never be trusted. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila, to me. <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin... Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. 
We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? I must admit, you've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Perhaps, perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the Grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded. Blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone, but I won't let this grove be harmed. Not again. Keep their confidence, if you insist. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior.
Goblins were of a rare gem-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Oh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. Would that we could speak freely, my Ursine friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. I've never had cause to visit a druid's grove before. Magic weighs heavier here, seeking solace in root and soil. Grounding, one might say. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Likewise. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. It's our job to get us out of here safely, not yours. It's my job too. The druids don't care about us. No one does. We have to look after ourselves. So, do you have loves waiting for you once this is all over? You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. You mean just waiting? Like a lovesick puppy? Short-term amusements are much less hassle. Broken. Must have been here a while. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them.
She's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Never. Observe and listen. Enough You'll hear goblins before down. you see them. As you say. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Very well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. up here what's this then trying to creep around us and loot the crypt not happening or is it the ship you're after don't matter either way it's ours all of it Well, uh, in that case... Come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! You're more cunning than you are. I thought we had a fight on our hands. Wits and blades always sharp.
text is too faded. Doesn't tell me who was worshipped here. I'm ready. the double. Shall we cut and run? Moving. Mistra. Let's end 
this. away. Let's have some carnage. Let's move. I do. I'm done. I can't wait to sleep. At the ready. What's next, I wonder? How does it open? Still breathing, despite everything. I wonder what the next move is. is ancient. A dedication to a forgotten god? Hmm. What's that? wasn't built for the living. No one back home will ever believe this.
Be wary. This place is trapped. Visitors. Watch how you go. Looks like a trap. There's a trap. Strange coin. Wonder what it's worth. Whatever it takes. Let's get this thing open. Let's get going. Come on. Open up. You know what I really miss about Baldur's Gate? The food. Freshest fish I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat. No, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need.
Sylvanas guide your path. Let me work my magic. Looking ahead. A long way to go still. Is that blood? No, never mind. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes. Of course. Oh, I have the magic touch. up now. 